Neil, welcome to Shaman Player. I said I was going to avoid the puns, but I'm going to have to do one. Uh, that three points is a very good early Christmas gift, isn't it? It certainly is. Uh, like I said, if you're a football manager, um, the only thing that uh, you enjoy is, is when you get the three points, and certainly at Christmas it, it sends us into the you know, Christmas period, which is a very difficult period. Uh, in good heart. Yeah, we look back at the reverse fixture at Forest Green and the way that that ended, that must have made today a little bit sweeter. It did, I think uh, we felt um, hard done, done to in the, in the game at Forest Green, I think we put in a lot of effort in that game and we certainly deserved something out of it and um, at the end of the game it was a really hollow feeling when we travelled back but uh, the players have responded well since then. You had a rare luxury today of an unchanged team, it's been a while since that happened. How much confidence does it give the side that a winning team can go into the following game and, and do that again? Well, I, I just think that um, we know that, you know, we put out what I think is our strongest team, then we've proved that we can compete at this level and um, everybody wants to put out the, uh, the strongest team and we've been unfortunate that we've had injuries which have disrupted us, but... Uh, if people are sensible and they realise that, then um, you know you need to just stay and keep picking up points, and then hopefully you get, you get players back. And it's not guaranteed you'll you'll win games, but it certainly gives you a better chance. Yeah, Mark Roberts scored the winner today. Typical Mark Roberts goal. How important is it for the side to have him back, um, both in defence but also as he showed today going forward in set pieces? Well, he's been a you know he's done tremendously well this season. Uh, he's moved up a couple of leagues. Um, He's still learning the game, and uh, but it's certainly he's forming the home games. He's been a rock at the back and certainly a threat in the other, uh, the other end. And obviously with his long throws as well, he gives us a, an added dimension. We just, you know, it's hard to keep him. It, he's not training at the moment. He's just sort of getting through games, and obviously you can't expect him to to be able to play. Saturday, Thursday, Saturday, Wednesday, which is the, the run you have at Christmas. So we're just going to have to, to see what we can do and uh, try and ease him through games. But there's no way he'll be able to play in all the games. But we were grateful for his performance today. I thought he was excellent. Yeah. One man that doesn't always get the plaudits is, is the goalkeeper, Matt Glennon. He got the man of the match today. Uh, made a couple of outstanding saves at the start of the second half. Mm -hmm. He's been really consistent this season. and that is, It must be a real weight off your mind knowing you've got that man in goal every week. Well, I think... Uh, like I've said a few times, we have experienced players at this club who are very good professionals in the way they conduct themselves around the club and in the dressing room and also on the pitch. And, and Matty, although he's had a long career in football and he's played for a number of clubs, he is somebody who still takes pride in the way he plays. He still wants to play. And um, since I've signed him, he's done an excellent job for me. Um, he probably didn't expect to end up as captain, but with uh, other players getting injured, He's had uh, the added responsibility on his shoulders as well. But, um, as I say, he's a common influence and he's done a really good job. Yeah, uh, the visitors, Paul Green was sent off in the second half. Did you have a good view of that incident? Did you think it was a, a, the right decision? I thought it was harsh because I think um, we've had a lot of sendings off this year and I think they're all harsh. I don't think there was... There wasn't uh, intent. I think a lot of times players are going for, for to try and win the ball genuinely. And... Um, you know, uh, I'm obviously a little bit old school with that, but um, I, I'm not keen to see players get get sent off yeah. unless it's for, you know, for something violent or or something stupidity. But uh, I thought it was harsh. But um, you know, I thought the referee had a good game. You wouldn't have failed to um, have noticed the prolonged chanting in the second half from the the town fans of your name in particular. How pleasing is that for you after what happened at Woking a couple of weeks ago? Well, it's, you know, I mean, uh, like I say, you're always going to have some idiots amongst you, uh, among supporters, and I, I can't control what they want to do. But, um, you know, we've had 13 games at home in a, as a part-time team, we've won 10 games at home. If people are not satisfied, then I don't really know what they expect. If we, if we had won 10 games out of 13, a few leagues below, it would still be a good record. So I don't have to... I don't have to to um, justify, you know, what I'm doing at the club, but if people, you always have, you can't please everyone, and, and and that's how football is. And people like to jump on the bandwagon quickly, and um, you know, one week you're a good manager, and then if you lose, people want to give you a stick. But I must say that since I've been manager, 
Uh, I've had really good support from the club, um, home and away. They've always backed me and uh, it's been why I've wanted to come to the club and um, why I enjoy being manager. Yeah. You alluded to um, just slightly earlier on that the um, really busy festive period has now begun. Uh, must be pleasing for you to have finally numbers around the squad so that you can rotate and, and you have players on the bench like today and even in the stands that are good enough to do a job for this team. Well, I, I'm not a big fan of, of rotation. I think, um, again, the way I was brought up in, in my football career, you, you look to play your strongest team as often as you can. But certainly this is a time where people are not going to play all the games because they're so close together and we're going to need everybody who's in the squad. So somebody who's not figured today could have a big bearing in, a, in one of the other games. But, uh, you know, you, you hope you can avoid injuries over this period. Yeah. Um, just quickly, injury update. Can we expect to see Danny Lowe or Lee Gregory back over this festive period or is that a bit too soon for them? If Danny Lowe was to come back at this fe festive period, it would be a miracle. Um, I don't think you'll see Danny back end of February, March before he, he plays. But uh, depending on how Lee Gregory gets on on Monday when he goes to get a cast made, then obviously he's looking more promising. And, and obviously we'd be happy to have him. Um, to pick from, but um, you know, certainly Daniel Lowe and Ryan Tolson, we, we, they're ruled out. I don't even consider them. Uh, as I say, if Danny can do his rehab properly, and it's um, then he, he'll be keen to, to push himself to, to get in contention. But I'm not looking. You know, it'll be February before he's even, you know, getting anywhere near. Finally, Gateshead is Boxing Day next up. It's a tough trip along. Feral trip up north, um, but you must be confident now. Back to back league wins to make it three in a row. No, no, I, 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 you can't say that just because you won a couple of games that uh, you're confident. I'm confident that every game we play, we, we're capable of getting a result, but uh, I, I can't say at this stage in, that um, you know we're going to go to Gateshead and win. I mean, Gateshead, or uh, I know them very well. I mean, I'm, I'm born in Gateshead, so I always keep an eye on their results. I've done really well since um, the new managers come in. They play good football, they want to pass it, they will play exactly the same. They will have a lot of possession and uh, they're a good team. And, um, you know, they played Oxford the other week. They had 73% possession, I think, in the game, so we know what we're up against. They will keep the ball for long periods and it is, it is a tough game, but certainly we're going to the, into the game in a much better position, you know, than, than before we played Dartford. Neil, thanks for joining us and have a good Christmas. Thank you. Cheers.